damn box. Look at it, he's got three holes in his head. Oh! What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Scythe, that's Integrod, back again for another Q World. Let's play this game together. I love this game, and I love you. Don't take that too seriously. Okay, so what happened yesterday? We went to the catacombs, and it was the darkest episode in the entire world. And there probably wasn't that many people watching it, but we'll see. And right now, okay, so what did I do? What did I do? Here's what we did since yesterday's episode. We ended up coming to town. I ended up selling a billion things. We had a billion items, and out of all of the items, we only got this. This new wand, and it's green again. And it kind of looks cool, but not really. It's got really good damage on it, but the biggest thing is it has tempo 4.6. So our attack speed is noticeably, noticeably better. We also got, I think it's new feet? Oh, maybe it's these new shoulder pads. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure, but here, look. I don't think you guys will notice the difference, but it's slightly faster. And why are we hanging out here? Because we can build something, and I wanted to build it with you guys. I wanted to build it on camera. Our first green. Check it out. Yeah, so this thing is actually a little less HP. It's got 0.2% more armor, but the biggest thing that it has is ours has tempo 1.2. This one has tempo 4.8. And I'm starting to notice more and more, especially for our build, like with this fireball spell, attack speed is actually very important because we have the slowest attack spell. So anyway, there's this or we could get this, which is just noticeably stronger armor for sure. But doesn't matter. doesn't matter. I want to make the first green. Now, as I explained in another episode, you can see right here that we don't have enough silk yarn, so I totally screwed up. <laughs> but... But emerald nuggets, emerald nuggets, the way that it works is you need an emerald nugget in order to make a green item, just like I'm sure you need a sapphire or a crystal or whatever the equivalent is to make a blue item. And then we've already got rubies, which are purple items. But yeah, it looks like we're going to need some silk yarn, unfortunately, before we can even make that crap. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. So you know what? You know what? Before, before we start, I'm just going to go and find some of that right now because i got some plans for today's episode i got some plans you guys and i think i think you're gonna enjoy it so i'm gonna go find some yarn with box well i haven't found any silk yet but check this out oh it's beautiful and look at that there's an emerald out in the world and what's this a shabby ring oh okay i guess there must have been like some some wizard or something must have died here i i don't know but either way, we found some more emeralds. So that's great. That's great. Hopefully, we're going to end up running into a lot more blues. And Uh-oh. Caving! 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 We're getting some caving done. I know, I know I'm supposed to be finding some silk. But I keep stumbling across stuff. Ooh, I want to try this out. Is this one of those rocks we can... Ha-ha! Roll! Can we actually blow that rock up? Yeah! See? See? This is what I meant. We've been caving once before for anyone who's just tuning in. And we ended up running into a dead end, but we couldn't really blow it apart with a bomb. So now I get to kind of show it off. Kind of. Except, eh, eh, get out of the way, box. Except it's a little bit too dark too, isn't it? But yeah, anyway, that that's what bombs, ugh. That's what bombs are pretty much for. And see, now we can just go straight through. Bada bing, bada boom, there we go. And... Yeah, so I'm I'm probably gonna I should probably deal with this caving stuff off camera And I'll let you guys know what we get once we're out on the other side Because that's enough darkness and I've got a plan for today's episode that I want to get to Oh, hey look, there's a peacock in this cave. You know what I want to try? I want to see if he likes any of this Do you like licorice perhaps? No. How about a donut? All right, how about some bee milk? Nope, he doesn't seem to like any of them, so you know what that means? Magic spell, Abracadabra! Die, you stupid peacock! You think you're all beautiful and stuff? You're dead now! I'm still caving! Ooh! Looks like we're already at the end of this cave. So, yeah. So far, I just found, like, uh, I found a couple more ore. Silver ore, that's good, that's good. Even though I don't think we end up using it. Ooh. This is pretty. Is that cotton down there, or no? 
We still need some damn silk though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep exploring. I'm gonna keep exploring. I killed a bunch of horses and check this out. We got our first blue unidentified leftover item. So we're gonna have to deal with that in town. This is this is becoming quite an eventful episode with me just exploring for this damn silk even though i'm supposed to be doing something special and i'm not going to say oh there's some silk thank goodness thank the lucky star oh my goodness there's a lot of plants around we're not even getting bothered with cotton anymore because is that scrub got some is that got it uh oh are these guys evil are those spike dudes up there evil or is it just the wolves we'll save you i'll save you I'll kind of save you. Save me. No box. Don't take the wolf on it. You're on your own. You can't do it. Oh, yeah. Also, in yesterday's episode, we got our, like, absorb spell and stuff. And, yeah, if you guys want to check out that episode, which I know this is, like, halfway through this one, so I shouldn't even be saying it. But you can find the annotation in the top left-hand corner of your screen, which... Man, YouTube's been getting weird lately with all their new updates and everything. But yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to town so we can make that armor. Wow. Ooh, a crow. I don't know what's with my frame rate lately. I don't know what's going on. Sorry about that. But look, apparently a crow likes this licorice. Yeah. Come here. Come on. Come on, crow. Eat him up. Yeah, we just got ourselves a second pet. Oh, he's only level 4, though. I think our other one's a lot better than him. Okay, let's see his stats. Let's see his stats. So, he's got... He's not rideable. But I think... That's another thing I wanted to touch upon, too. So, it's good that we got this crow. Oh, man. That guy's awesome. But apparently... I think he's a flying in, or a flying type, right? Yeah. Look at him go! I mean, he hasn't, he hasn't touched the enemy yet. He's kind of screwing around the water a little much. But... It, okay. But at least he can fly, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, I gotta say. Let's let's give him a name. Pet, or er, slash name pet. Let's call him Chester. Because Chester the Crow. I don't know if many people are going to get that, but some Canadians should. If there's any that are actually watching. But I think most of everyone that watches me is American. Buy and sell American. Oh, get out of here, you insect freak. Anyway, we're still trying to get back to town, so I'm not going to waste too much time fighting this enemy. Plus, my frame rate is really weird. But I'm going to take care of all of these inset guards, and I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... There! Stupid game. And I'm going to use Box to help us out. Alright. Moment of truth. Let's make this yarn. One, two, three. And then... Can we make this? We can, but we need this loom over here. Illuminate. <gasps> Bam! -bam! We, got, we got some green armor. This is our first set of green armor. Ooh. Turn off health bars. Don't we look cool standing next to box? Huh? Yeah, I'm getting screenshots of that regardless if it ends up being the title card or not because that's awesome. Okay, let's see some of our other spoils of war here. Crap, crap, crap. Ooh. We got a ring here that we can't even use. Because it requires power 46. So that's probably quite a while away. Holy crap. Oh yeah, we got our stuff. Uh, crafting recipe to sell. We got, we got, we got to identify this stuff. Oh, look at that. Leftovers plus 55 power 55. We're running into some crazy items this episode, aren't we? Not to mention frame rate issues, but that's just me. Ooh. We're running into a lot of stuff. I didn't expect to run into this much stuff. I guess today is a more preparation day, huh? By the way, I want to get... Ooh, look at this. This is our last spell. You teleport to the selected location. That could really help out a lot. But I think we're going to get one more into our mount. And then... Uh, let's get one into climbing... For now, because I think what we're going to end up wanting to do is to get our hang gliding and our sailing eventually. We haven't ran into any oceans or anything, but I know that that boat is going to be a vital item when we actually get there. But yeah, so, 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 where is it? First of all, let's go here so we can sell our formula. Go over here so we can sell everything but that ring, which I was about to sell anyway. And then, you know what? 
We've got one gold, 17 silver, and 20 copper. So before before we go, because I'm going to tell you guys in a minute, in a minute, let's grab a hang glider and let's grab a boat. Just so that we never have to buy one again. Because I'm pretty sure, like, there's no, there's no other grade of them. And you would put your item down here. And I think G is the button to use a special item, right? Yeah, G apparently uses your special item, which would be a boat or a hang glider. But we just don't have the skill to use it anyway, so... Pressing G does nothing. It doesn't even go. Am, 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 am. But anyway, what we're trying to do, what I'm trying to do in this episode is start our journey to the north. Because I think, honestly, where's the map? Where's the map? I think, honestly, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good, guys. We're doing pretty good. Like, we've conquered quite a bit of this first area. There's still this quest over here. But then, like, it's like, okay, so we count, we conquered the castle over here then the gallon forest, and then even the catacombs. And then I thought about, because there's this quest over here, but then it's like as soon as we get over here, then this place is going to look a lot closer, and this place is going to look a lot closer, and then we're kind of just going in the southern direction. So I want, I want to start our journey to the north, where we try to get to the edge of the map. And one thing I do know that we will run into is as we start exploring unexplored territory, new quests show up. There will be even... There's even more than this default city and stuff, but I'm not exactly sure what's north because I've only explored south, and even then I couldn't get to the edge of the map if I wanted to. Okay. Identify. Identify yourself. Let's see this leftover. One copper, please. It gave us some chest armor. What about this one that's like level 55? It's not really, but three copper, and we got some flawless cotton armor. I think that's for a rogue, and this blue one. Oh, that was an amulet. Let's see what we got here. So we got something for a ranger, something for a rogue, which actually is very powerful, and an amulet. We got a blue amulet, guys. Look at this thing. Okay, so ours is tempo 2.2, critical 0 0.4. This new one is tempo 4.3, and crit only goes up by 0.1%, but still. Equipped. Equipped. Okay, I'll drag and drop it. There, jeez. I don't know why right click, right click wasn't working. But that's awesome. So we got a new amulet. We got a blue one. I would keep this if I thought I was going to actually be playing with other people. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So that's kind of what we're trying to do in today's episode, huh? Is we're trying to kind of just prepare ourselves, I suppose. Trying to prepare. Prepare for battle. Prepare for the adventure. You know? prepare for stuff even though like half of this episode's already taken so maybe we'll end up starting our journey to the north in tomorrow's episode but we'll see we still got we still got time we still got time there's still a couple things we gotta do though like one of the other things i wanted to do was go in here and start enchanting some stuff get off of the dog backflip off okay i want to adapt our staff obviously which is going to toss 12 platinum coins we only have 17 from all of our quests our chest armor is already adapted. I don't know how the adapting works. It just kind of happens. Sometimes things will just be adapted. And then other times they won't. The amulet that we just got costs 18 to adapt. Oh, I see why. Because it puts our tempo up almost a full 1%. So that's pretty crazy. What about our staff here? Damage is 15 going up to 17. HP goes from 8 to 9. Our tempo goes up from 4.6 to 5.1. Let's let's do it. Let's adapt it. Let's just go for it. I don't think we'll be able to adapt anything else for a little while. For quite a long while, actually. Because, ooh, because of, you know, like, needing a lot more quests done and stuff. Which means a lot more dungeon running for me. But anyway... If, if you have headphones, I have warned you before, if you have headphones, take them out, because this guy's really loud, we're gonna sleep at the end, okay? Okay, it's over! Da -da -da -da. Get out of the way, chair! You bother me. Okay, that's the training huts. I'm trying to look for the crafting district, where's that? that there it is, top right. Okay, because what I want to do... One last thing I want to do before we end up starting our adventure, which we'll see if we end up getting to that in this episode, but it means that anyone who's watching can get excited because we're actually going to start adventuring. By the way, if you ever lose your pet, press T and... Oh, well, he's not coming. T normally teleports him to you, but otherwise you just unequipped him and re-equipped him, and there you go. There's your pet. Guy or girl, pet, whatever. 
Okay, uh, where is it? Where is it? There we go. Need to go over to the anvil so that we can customize our staff. Let's make it all powerful and just, just, let's just, let's see if we can, see if we can make something cool here. I don't really know, I don't really like the looks of this staff. It's pretty plain, but I don't really know what we can do to help that. Because, I mean, we got, we got 50 wood cubes though. Wind Spirit 24. Oh. So we've got these Unholy Spirit plus 5. Now this is just me speculating, but I'm assuming that just because we can only see this one, that's how it works. Power? Oh. Never mind, I don't know. Can you can you only have like certain certain elements on certain staffs? I don't know. But we got 50 pixels, aka 50 wood things. So let's see if we can make this thing a little bit more snazzy here. Let's let's add maybe a grip in there just cuz all right, all right. Let's, uh, you know what else I want to try? I want to try doing this. I know it's, I know it's a little too symmetrical. Yeah, especially for a staff like this, but I want to try it. I want to see if we can make something that looks kind of neat. So, something that's kind of unique anyway, even though now it just looks like it's got a little house on it. So let's put one cube into each of these corners because that might help it out. And then let's go boop, boop, boop. Boop. Okay. Ah, and then let's go there. There. So that it's just always on the one angle. So it's kind of like it's going in a circle. C come on. Put it on. Oh, we're maxed out as far as stuff we can put on this thing. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let's take this and put this. Let's put it up at the tippy toppy. This is a terrible looking staff, isn't it? Yeah, that looks awful. <laughs> wind spirit. You know what? Screw it. We're going on our adventure. Let's use our wind spirit. I'm just going to put it right in the center. Right in the center. Right. Can we take one of these off? Can we? Can we? Oh, we can't. Does it show how many you can put on? That kind of sucks. Oh, well. I didn't know that it was limited. Our staff looks kind of neat. It looks better than it did, that's for sure, but it still doesn't look that cool. So let's grab this, move it here, move this one down here. I I know, I know this is probably, you probably aren't, I don't know if you guys are into this as much as I am, but I like this. I like this little customization thing, and I want to check it out. I want to look at it a little bit more. Let's make our thing, let's make our staff a little less, a little less sensible. You know, like, let's kind of, let's kind of, I'm trying to throw it under there. Just to kind of make it look a little weirder, you know? You know? Let's see about throwing that one there. Now, how does it look? Ah, it looks okay, but it looks kind of like a garbled mess. I'd be better if I, it, I'd be a lot better at making swords and stuff like that, but... <laughs> but I'm not very good at uh, making the staff. Okay, so now I know, which we we have like 50 iron, by the way, so that's our max amount, but I actually didn't know. I mean, I go to the sawmill so we can cut some more wood. We had 50, but now that we've got less, I can actually make more because I still got a couple logs in our inventory, but yeah, I didn't know that there was a limited amount of like, pixels or blocks or whatever that you could put on to your weapon so that kind of that kind of sucks requires loom i'm not trying to make silk i'm trying to make this wood cube come on yeah that's kind of weird oh and by the way i don't know if i ever mentioned it because i kind of just skimmed over it once about all the crafting and stuff a workbench is for making stabs and stuff but yeah okay did we we spent a skill on our mount yeah so ooh. Box is a lot faster. And you know what? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on. Come on, world. Generate for me. You know what? Let's go. Yeah. Let's start the adventure. See, look. See, look. That one's not there before. That's new to the north. So that's where we're going to be headed. We're going to be headed north. And 
Uh, do we do we make cuts? That's the thing. That's the tricky thing because this is kind of what I had planned for the series in the first place. Is I wanted to make it a journey to the north, right? And I wasn't exactly sure how much stuff we should. Ooh, ha! How much stuff should we end up cutting? And then how much should we leave in? Because kind of the point. The point is, it's supposed to be a nice little adventure, you know? You're supposed to... You guys are coming with me on this adventure, right? So, you know, do we end up cutting and teleporting around and stuff? And, ooh, this looks awesome already! But seriously, it's like, do we end up cutting and teleporting and stuff? Because then it's like, doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose of this whole... <laughs> some kind of crustacean creature! Oh, never mind. It's just a bunch of birds. You guys picked the wrong mage to tangle with. We got a custom staff here. Custom staff? It's not even ordered from TV. No one can get it. Ooh, a llama. I want to see... Or an alpaca. I want to see if we got any pet food for this dude. But seriously, it's like... I, I don't know how much cut... Come on. Come on. There you go. Jeez Louise, this game. I never knew that a game could lag... On its own accord, so he doesn't like any of this stuff. Oh, that sucks. Well, you know what? You're gonna die then, you stupid alpaca. You don't want to eat my food, you ungrateful animal? Take that. Turn to dust. Turn to dust. But yeah, I don't really know. And I know I just keep going in circles. I keep getting distracted. That's kind of... That's kind of... That's just how I am. Especially in this type of a game. Like, it's like, you gotta let yourself get distracted, man. You gotta get distracted by all the beauty and stuff. Otherwise, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna start overthinking stuff. And you're gonna start realizing how... Whoa, backflip! Pointless this game, I guess, kind of is. Like, yes, I understand that, you know, this is kind of what it is now. Like, there's not really that much else to do. That's why we're going to be exploring all the way to the north. And honestly, I don't think we're going to make that many cuts. Unless unless we get to some spots that end up a little, you know, a bit boring or something like that. But I mean, for the most part... Oh, and by the way, we're pretty stocked up. Like, I've got like 50 water flasks and stuff. So as soon as we run into heart flowers, which we have right now, I'm going to make us some potions. Which we have plus 29 potions now because we've been leveling... And yeah, you get like new crafting recipes each time you level. I think. I don't know if it's each time, but you just do. But yeah, there's not going to be that many cuts in this series from this point on. Because it's like, you know, we, we, we're we going to be exploring now. Like, this is, this is it. This is the game. So, I mean, maybe, you know. Ah! Maybe we'll end up cutting like if, if we start getting into fights like this where my frame rate is going downhill. I don't know why. But otherwise, for the most part, this is the adventure begins. You know, like we've already we've already started it. You guys didn't even notice. We've already started our journey to the north. So this is gonna be great. I think this is gonna be awesome. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. You know, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing, and I'll just expect that you guys enjoy it. Die, humanoid! You cannot challenge me. He had a lot of rogue and warrior stuff. Speaking of which, let's heal up. I don't know what that's got to do with rogue and warrior. Ooh! Yum, 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 yum. Don't bounce while you eat. That's not a good thing to do. Get on the dog again. Ooh, heart flower. We need all the heart flowers that we can get. But yeah, we're going to start running into some crazy vistas and stuff you guys like this this is already something pretty cool we're we're actually on a cliff side i didn't even notice it doesn't seem like it does it but yeah i mean i've i've barely scratched the surface we've barely scratched the surface to what this game's worlds have to offer you know because i've said it once before but if you're just tuning in oh we leveled that's awesome but if you're just tuning in, I'm never paying attention either. Ooh, and box level too. But it's like we 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 have, you know, there's 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 a lot to this game. Right now, like all these first episodes up to this point, it's just been all this grassland and stuff. Now, as you can see with stuff like that, we're actually starting to get into hill biomes, kind of. We've we've seen forests and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean for the most part. Get get off of there! I'm trying to go to the sleep. S hit the hay. Hit the sack. 
Actually, we don't even need to. I just noticed because we're full health. Grab the mushroom, stupid. But as you can see, like right here, like see how the ground ch is changing from that solid blue to, or solid green, I mean, to this blue-ish color. Like, we're going to start seeing some new biomes and stuff, you guys. And there's deserts, there is woodland, or not woodlands, there's like snow and stuff. And are we in the forest? Why is there a radish king there? How strong is this dude? Oh, goodness. He's just as strong as the guy in Gallon Forest. Oh, maybe not. He actually, he actually dies pretty quick. Or not quick, but... He, yeah, he's actually kind of a pushover, this dude. So we're going to be able to take him down without even making a damn cut. He doesn't even damage us. God, I wish we would get a bonus move, but... Give us an insta-cast! Come on, stupid! Give me an insta-cast already! 18 experience just some random 18 experience we also got an unholy spirit plus 10 so that is life leech for people that don't notice or don't know i mean but that's great that is great news indeed but that means if we're gonna be doing our journey to the north unfortunately it means that we're probably going to end up running into nighttime Ooh, look at that cliff i want to climb it those things by the way i think i've mentioned for now, anyway, they're like one of the strongest enemies in the game. I don't, I don't know if they actually are. I just know from experience that we can't beat them, like, ever. So, maybe we'll end up getting that powerful, but, ooh. Okay, never mind that cliff. I wanted to climb it, but we can already see a castle. And it's all destroyed and stuff. It's actually a different type. Oh, it's big. It's big. This is a big castle. This is a big castle, guys. This is a big castle, boy -o. Get out of here, chickens! You damn cowards. Wow. This is a big castle. Don't worry, we're not going to tackle this in today's episode. We might end up doing it tomorrow, I guess. Because Runes of Aruden. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced. I don't know if there is a proper pronouncing. But, yeah. Cool. All right, all right. This is... Oh my goodness, we can't even take that place on. Look at that. Undead plus three. And they have red text for their name. So we're not... We're just going to completely... Wow, yeah, see what I mean? See, red text. That means it's death. Oh, but there's another one right on top of it. Nice. Okay, okay. But you know what? As for today... I think we've already been doing great. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, life leads. Watch out for that beam, that gazer beam of theirs. That That is like one of the strongest spells in the game that I've ever ran into anyway. But I've never ran into any of the bigger bosses that you can run into. So I wouldn't know. But yeah. Anyway, as far as today goes, I think we did, I think we did a pretty good job. I think we honestly did a pretty good job. I think the adventure begins. This is beautiful. Look at this. Just staring off into the sunset with Box here. And I'm going to get a screenshot of this. But as for today's episode, I think we're going to call it here, everybody. And then we're going to continue our journey to the north in this series from this point on. Until we get all the way to the edge of the map. If there even is an edge. And then we'll see. We'll see. But we're going to keep going to the north. We're going to explore this whole freaking world. So, thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this episode all the way to the very end, be sure to leave a like. I really do appreciate it, and it means a lot to me. And if you want to see more on this series, be sure to subscribe. Sayonara, and stay epic! Your face.